Howdy folks, Max Caveman here bringing you to Not For Trade, a series where I open up various TCG products trying to build the most expensive bowler that I can as if I'm a kid building up their first trading card collection. Now today is the first Not For Trade of 2024 and I thought I would um, have a bit of a special I have a mystery pack here, and this is the mystery pack done by Unlisted Leaf, a fellow Aussie YouTuber. Now, I personally feel like this might have been a bit more expensive than it's worth. Uh, however, I know that it is mainly because of this high-end stuff. Um, getting packs this cheap um, could be fairly difficult for some of these sets. Um, I got this from a trading card vending machine in my area. I know they're starting to pop up a bit more, but I saw it. Um, I thought, as a bit of a new thing for the new year, let's open this up. So let's get cracking. Now, I do want at least a silver um, here. Uh, it looks like I just got a green. Um, but depending on what this is, could be quite interesting. Um, it's got a Unlisted Leaf Mystery Booster Pack, and there is an exclusive video on there, so I'll put that aside. Let's see what we got. Uh, so we got one Crown Zenith, one Brilliant Stars, one Obsidian Flames, one Scarlet Violet, one Paldea Evolved. So you get um, five assorted packs from Scarlet Violet and Sword and Shield error guaranteed. Then I get this as a bonus, or a, as a sixth pack. This is where the big bucks can be. And I just got another Crown Zenith, so not bad. Um, Crown Zenith can be a very good set. Um, so it is what it is. Uh, is it worth the price that I spent? Maybe, who cares? It's something special. Um, before I get cracking into these packs, um, I need to talk about the last episode, the um, Rory Moon EX box only added the Rory Moon EX to the folder, um, it is what it is, so I'm um, not too fussed, um, but I did have a special come out of nowhere and I thought it was going to come out after the Rory Moon. Sadly, it didn't, um, so I didn't say anything about the prices of that, but I actually added $160 worth of value to the folder from that special, which makes it one of the biggest payouts for a video. So, that is something good. So, that said, let's see what we get. Um, I do want to keep the Paldea Evolved for last because that is the set that I need the most cards from out of this um, so I'll do it this way I'll go Obsidian Flames first uh, Obsidian Flames is a very interesting set you have to kind of go Charizard or Bust so let's get it out of the way first we have a Snubble, Capsicid, Drubber, Cubchoo, Camerupt, Clodsire Granville, Poltergeist, Gratini, and a Scoo Villain. So nothing too special there. Next up we have a pack of Scarlet Violet Base. Okay, so we've got a Pokegear, Floet, Palmy, Smolive, Nest Ball, Pachirisu, Picnic Basket, got a Maridon. A reverse square, but that actually could be something good. And a Don Dozo. Okay, so next up we have the two packs of Crown Zenith here. Uh, so it's three to the front. I like having the energy at the back, it's not something that you sort of need to talk about. So we have a Rescue Carrier, Giraffarig, Pinkurchin, Whelmer, Shinx, Lavesta, Oddish, Seal, Mr. Mime, and a Perserker. Ok, 
Okay, so we've got a Luxio Trucking Shoes. Very nice. I'll put that aside. The Shaman, Pant Jam, Switch, Snow Runt, La Vesta, Tangela. We've got a Radiant Eternatus here. That's not too bad. And a Snorlax. So, Radiants are a good pull. Uh, it's not the Charizard, which is the big one out of the three, but um, still pretty good. I don't think it will make it in. Um, we'll always have to wait and see. Um, now the two packs that I actually wanted stuff from, um, the Brilliant Stars and Paldea of Old. If I can get the Charizard from this, that would be... The Charizard, um, the altar would be fantastic here. And it doesn't look so with the white border code card. Um, let's see. We've got a Cafe Master, Monferno, Gloria, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Holucha, Boizel, Gibble, got a Stami, and a Motham. So, final pack here the Par Paldea Evolved. Okay, so let's go. We've got a Panko, Tingatink, Mankey, Delabird, Raichu, Palisand, Gothitelle, Kufant, Wooper, and a Wigglytuff. So, all in all, that mystery box, or mystery pack, wasn't the best. I did only really get the Radiant Eternatus as a pull. Um, which is a bit disappointing, um, but considering when you would have to build these packs, how many packs are getting done at a time, and how much product would be getting opened, this isn't too bad, um, getting something. It would have been nice to obviously get something a bit better, but I'm more or less fine with this. Um, starting next week, I'll start going into the, um, into the master set stuff that I mentioned in the, um, update. So, nice little one-off while I get ready for master sets, master set hunting as well. So, that's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed uh, hopefully, I'll get to see you again next time, but until then, have a good one, folks.